Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to use Excel to make a roster. Uh, this is, you may have a, an organization you're in, you may be a, the coach of a little league team or something like that or, or whatever, where you want to enter in some information and, and be able to sort the information, print out sheets, and, and do a variety of things like that. So I have a spreadsheet here that I've, that I've prepared. It happens to be the roster of the Baseball Hall of Fame. And it has uh, the first row has the heading of the of each column, the name, the birth year, the birth month, etc. And then the the information is is entered in all the way all the way down uh, to the end. And let's say we wanted to have uh, since these are baseball players, we'll put over here in column H. So go to column H or cell H1 and just click on the cell, and then just start typing. We're gonna, and we're going to type position P O. Okay, and then we come down and uh, we start entering in information. So this guy was an outfielder, this guy was a pitcher, this guy was a second baseman, and we can just, that's an old guy, I don't know who he was. Uh, and we just keep going like that. So depending on what you're using the roster for, um, whether it's a team or a club or an organization or anything like that, you can add as many columns as you want. And the important thing to keep in mind is think about the fact that you might want to sort the information. So put information in the in the columns in a consistent format um, so that when you sort it, all of this like entries, so for instance, you know, these baseball players, you want to have all the outfielders sorted and then all the pitchers sorted, always entered in in the same way. And they've done that here. You can see the birth year is just a four-digit number. The birth month is a is a number corresponding to the, the month. Um, et cetera, et cetera. The, the country is always in the same format. That's very important to keep in mind when you want to do um, something with a, with a roster like this or any spreadsheet in Excel. So I hope this is useful. I'm Ted and today I showed you how to create a roster in Excel. Thank you for watching.